Hi, and welcome to this quick demonstration for the integration between Beyond Trust Privilege Access Management and SailPoint Identity IQ. We are using the PAM module in SailPoint Identity IQ to be able to expose and make sense um, entitlements from Beyond Trust Privilege Access Management or, or Beyond Trust PAM. And the integration is based on the SCIM2, so we can see the two application definitions that I have in SailPoint. I have an Active Directory that I'm also using for identity information for users, and I also have Beyond Trust PAM via the SCIM uh, connector. And what I want to do over the next few minutes is to show you some of the value, some of the benefits that uh, are available to, to this integration between SailPoint and Beyond Trust. So first, let's just take a look at the Identity Warehouse. We're just going to pick a user here. We're going to pick Amy Miller. And if I take a look at Amy Miller, I'll be able to see some information, like distinguished name, email address. That comes from Active Directory. But I can also look at the uh, various entitlements and accounts. And I can see that Mark, uh, that Amy Miller has um, an account within Beyond Trust, and that's just been granted some groups. I can see API access here. I can see PBPS admin. If like if I drill down, if I click on one of those, I can see you know uh, more information like object properties, who's a member. And here, what we're looking at is basically a translation of the security model in Beyond Trust, and I can see smart rules which are groups of accounts and the various permissions like read and write that have been assigned to to those um, to those uh, smart groups for uh, for uh, my user Amy Miller here via the group called PBPS admin. I can also you know, see a list of, of members, what type of access is granted so I can see again um, you know all the permissions for the different smart rules, um, and uh, you know whether the um, uh, permissions are smart rules or other types of permissions. So I will close this for now. And another aspect that is important uh, is the uh, possibility to you know leverage this information that we obtain from Beyond Trust in certification campaigns. So I have a few certification campaigns. Let's take a look at the manager certification campaign here. I can see the progress of this campaign, and I can also see uh, some of the review items that have been assigned to various managers, including Amy Miller. And it's possible for Amy to look at the list of uh, entitlements and accounts. So these are accounts. For example, there's an account for Dylan uh, Martin. And I can, again, drill down and see more information about this account. Uh, I can click on a specific uh, entitlement again, group, and I'm able to see the list of members. It is also possible for me to look at uh, this account here for Leo Ferguson. And I can see again uh, that she's a member of PBPS Requester. And I can drill down on that group and look at the properties, the members, and look at what access is being granted. And again, it goes back to a smart rule or a smart group called All Manage Accounts, for which Leah has read and write access, and she has the role of a requester. So this is, you know, more about the visibility, uh, about being able to leverage inf this information via the PAM module and make, make sense of it. There is also, via this integration, the possibility to provision or deprovision access. It could be done through an access request. It could be done through clicking the revoke button in a certification campaign. But let's look at the um, uh, access request uh, portion here. So we're going to select Amy Miller again. And now, you know, I can either add access or remove access. So if I select remove access, I'm going to see a list of permissions that Amy currently has. I'm interested in a permission 
related to API access. So I'm just going to search across our different permissions. And I can see full API access. And I can confirm that Amy has this permission in Beyond Trust. If I look at the group called API access, I can see that Amy Miller is one of the users. I can see you know, the smart groups that are associated with, uh, with this uh, group smart group of accounts so I can see full control on all assets and all managed accounts. What I want to do here is to basically remove that permission. So I'm just going to click on the uh, red X here and then I'm going to submit my request. So what's happening now? Identity IQ is basically sending a request through the SKIM uh, integration for Beyond Trust to remove that permission. And now, you know, the request has been submitted. I can track the status of my uh, request. And status is complete, which means if I go back in Beyond Trust and I refresh my members here for my group, I can see that Amy Miller has been removed. And we could also, you know, do the same instead of removing access, we could add access to a user like Amy Miller, and that would also be done to the uh, scheme integration. So that completes this quick video to show some of the value behind the integration. And there are other aspects that can also leverage this integration, like reports and dashboards and you know uh, risk uh, management. But I just wanted to provide you today with a quick overview demonstration with some of the uh, eye level uh, items that uh, are, are available to the integration. So thank you for watching this quick video and I hope you'll have a great rest of the day.